Right, here's the box. Oh, having trouble with the sticky Velcro not working. <sighs> Rubbish idea. So you can see how it's arranged. It's currently switched to the ALA 100. And then when I operate with a mini whip, I just take that clamp, fit it to there, and that is the earth connection. Otherwise it stays there. The earth connection comes up there, goes around, it's under the stone, the earth connection, the other coax is the main feed, and the earth is just there by that chair. You can see by the concrete pole. And it's another clip which has been sealed onto the copper earth rod. There's two rods there, and they're connected as well. So the main change is this new ALA 100 loop, which is, as you can see, on standoff screws fixed to the fence. And we reckon we've got about 15 meters in total. Just goes there behind the raspberries, down two, and then back. And down up into the box. The mini whip, not a lot's changed really. It has to have additional coax because when we take the pole down, you need the flexibility. So hopefully everything's weather sealed and the next step is testing. I'll just clip it loosely. So the new coax is a much um, neater affair, comes straight down the wall here. There's the PL259 joint, and that's done with self amalgamating tape and insulation tape wrapped around it, plus it will be standing behind something, and it's under the eaves. So we go along there, under the window, down onto the ground behind there, behind this storage unit, <coughs> then up into that aluminium pipe there to protect it because this area is part of the border which gardening is, takes place in and you see the aluminium pipes on the ground so it should hopefully reduce noise um, two pipes are just joined together with a little bit of no, there it is sealant and insulation tape behind the raspberries and it comes out the other side here where it's also sealed stop things going in there and makes its way to the box okay so this is the ALA 100 LM um, Mark II antenna the first difference is I've now got crimp connectors making life a lot easier. Underneath I've kept the air, uh, loop as far away from the coaxes as possible. Let's go this way and we go up there up there but this time we end here whereas before I don't know if you can see it halfway along that panel is where we used to go. Uh, otherwise it's exactly the same we are a single thickness it's about 32 or maybe even 6402 strands that's a crimp connector at the halfway point and then we go along the back panel to here whereas before we went to there and the result of this is it's just a fraction over 10 meters and 10 meters seemed to work before so I'm going to do some trials like that experimental loop is about 14 meters of wire just experimentally rigged into the ALA 100 Allen and it goes up the mast and mounts on a wooden cane so it's about six 600 centimeters up let's go and see what it does Okay, those who inquired 
about the loop on the ground, but it's the blue wire, it's quite thin. So it goes off down there. I'm going to go the other side of the tree now. Goes there. And we're off. Off and running. Behind that tree. Curves back round here, round behind the plant pot. On the ground. A bit random in places. And we're off this way now. I feel like one of those toys that tracks a line. I've pulled it away from this end of the garden because the interference comes from over the wall there. So we then go up here and then onto the stones. So we can just see it there. And then we're now heading back to the head unit which I think you've seen in my other videos, which is in there. So thank you for watching my uh, video diary of the new antenna installation. It was needed because the old coax had become damaged. It had been in place for 15, 16 years and water may have got in and caused corrosion. So the new coax was put in and you've seen how it's been installed. Kindly, I arranged with Andrew from Wellbrook to send me an ALA 100 LN so that I could test it to see if I could get away from the power line interference. And most of the tests you've seen in the videos have been based on testing this excellent head unit, which is indeed very low noise. Um, there'll be more comments on the groups, and uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll leave you with a picture of the local blackbird singing on top of the mini whip.